This past week in synagogue, I said something that was evidently unforgettable. I can't wait to share it with you. Shalom, my friends. Yes, evidently I hit a home run last week. Let me tell you the backstory, and then we'll get to what it is that I said. I was contacted some time ago by a fellow from Florida whose daughter, son-in-law, and grandchildren live here in Indiana near my synagogue. Two of his grandsons were over 13 years old, which means each of them is a bar mitzvah, but neither of them celebrated becoming bar mitzvah. Now, how do you celebrate becoming bar mitzvah, which means an adult in Jewish law? When the Bible, the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, that's what we read out loud every Saturday morning in synagogue. The reading is broken into sections, and before each section is read, someone is called to the reading table. It's on a raised platform that we call the Bema. They're called to the Bema, and they say a blessing. Then the passage of Torah is read, and they say another blessing. And that happens seven times until we complete the reading. This grandfather was asking if his grandsons could be called to the Torah to say the blessings before and after the Torah is read. That would be what we generally call having a bar mitzvah, sort of a, a term that doesn't make sense in actuality, but that's a topic for another day. Wanted his son, his grandsons, to be called to the Torah as bar mitzvah boys. At the end of the service, I decided to say something directed to those two young men. And I said to them, you know, we have a lot of rituals in Judaism. And there are a lot of laws, a lot of commandments. You've probably heard of the Ten Commandments, but there's not only ten in the Torah. By tradition, there are 613. And you might feel, I'll never be able to live a good Jewish life. There's just too much I don't know. So what I want you to know today is that our ancient sages said that one of our biblical prophets, the prophet Micah, took the 613 commandments and distilled them down to three. And here they are. Practice justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God. I went on to explain that these are categories and that every human interaction can fit into these categories. Anytime you interact with another person, make sure that you are guided by the principles of fairness and justice. Treat everyone fairly. Number two, treat them kindly. And finally, be humble when you do it. Don't act like you're doing it because you're better than everybody else. Do it with humility. Treat everybody with kindness and fairness and justice. What it all boils down to is love your neighbor. I have to share with you that this emphasis on the prophet Micah's three commandments as the essence of Judaism 
is something I learned from my friend, my study partner, and my teacher, Rabbi Uzi Weingarten. I concluded by saying to these young men, if you simply do those three things, you will be living a life that exemplifies the essence of our religion. Then the service concluded. The punchline comes now. After the service, the grandmother of the two young men came up to me with tears in her eyes. And she said to me, the boys will never forget what you said to them today. Wow. I was blown away. I gave it thought. I shared it with my friend and teacher, Rabbi Uzi Weingart. And it became clear to me that the message that these boys got, at least I hope so, was that living a good Jewish life was not beyond their means, was not beyond their ability. It was actually quite simple. Another principle that Rabbi Weingarten teaches, religion is actually quite simple. Now I know in Christianity there are theological differences, but I do think anyone from a religious Jew to a pious Christian, and even to a devout atheist, anyone would have to agree that a world in which everybody treated everybody else with fairness and justice, with kindness, and behaved with humility would be a much better world than the one we have right now. My friends, there is a new way to support our growing YouTube channel. That is by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash the rabbi study, no apostrophe S, just two S's in a row. If you'd like to do that for as little as $3 a month, I'll leave a link in the description right below this video. I will also leave the link to Rabbi Uzi Weingarten's website. He offers classes and they are just incredible. So I hope you'll look into studying with him. I'm sure you'll get as much out of it as I do. And as always, my friends, if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on my face, which appears right over there, or take a look at the last video I released, whose icon appears right over there. As ever, until next time, Shabbat Shalom.